Hey guys, what's up? It's ArtDude47, and I am back today. I'm doing a little check-in video. Uh, Happy New Year's. This is going to be my first video of the year. I did take a little bit of a break during the holiday season. It gets busy, and I wanted to maximize time with my family, so I wasn't doing much programming. But of course, I'm still working on the dating simulator. I also, over the holidays, got way into Animal Crossing, and of course I've played Animal Crossing before, it's just an off and on type of fun. And so I thought of the little side project to get myself warmed back up and get back into coding. So I spent the last two days working on this, and I, the idea was not to spend a ton of time, so I, I'm, I'm finished with it, that's all I'm going to take it. But I do want to show it to you guys, and I think I'm going to release it because I think it might be semi-useful. So it's called AC Tracker, and I'm just going to play here. And while it's loading, I'll talk a bit more. Of course, this isn't an update on the dating simulator, but I am working hard on it, and there's a big update coming pretty soon. So I'm hoping to have a new devlog up um, probably next week, but uh, it's going to be a relatively big update compared to how I was doing devlogs just because I've it's been a while since I posted one, and I've been working on something fun on that game. But anyway, this is the Animal Crossing tracker I worked on. Basically what you do is you select what game you're playing and then it defaults to your current system time. And then um, it defaults to clear weather. And what it's showing is the fish in that game that are available to catch right now based on your date, time, and weather. And then of course, it's also got the bugs as well. And then it shows the graphics from that game. If you catch it, you click on it and it fills in the color palette. So that way you know you've caught it. And then there's all kinds of filters, of course. You can look at every single fish or bug in that particular game. Uh, you can look at the ones you've caught that are currently available, currently available that you have not caught, all the bugs or fish you've caught, and then all the ones you have not caught. And I'm actually, for the first time, seeing that there is something broken about the not caught because it's showing uh, fish that don't exist in this game. So I'll figure that out. But uh, then you can swap between games. So if I go to Wild World. Also, this loading time is all in editor. In the build, it does not take any time to load. But you could see um, it's got all the bugs and fish from Wild World. Also, something that's a bit cool about it is say I caught the angelfish in Wild World it's of course tracking separately for the GameCube version so if you play multiple ones you can keep track of each different one and then of course we've got City Folk then New Leaf and of course New Leaf is a bit different because uh, not only do we have all of the fish and bugs, but now we have sea creatures for diving. And that, of course, also carries into New Horizons, where we have the sea creatures. And that's basically it. I've, I've just done a little bit of work on it. Of course, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but if we go back to Available Now, uh, you can also manually change date and time in case you're not going by your system's clock date. So you could switch to June and it'll automatically update what's available. Um, and you could change the hour to an update that way. Say we want to see what's available this evening. And it'll change the list just slightly. So that's the Animal Crossing tracker. I think I'm going to go ahead and release this uh, also on my itch page just in case anybody finds it useful or interesting or wants to mess around with it uh, but like I said I am still working hard on the dating simulator and I hope to have an update out for you soon in the meantime please leave a like subscribe if you want to keep updated on progress and uh, comment if you have any questions or ideas or anything you want to say to me alright guys until I see you in the next video